Ten centuries shall the fortress stand, walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire, and horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife, the moon shall darken and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. daughter of a forlorn line shall guide him into history. Beneath the crypts prophecies clash, the war of ancient enemies. All right. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. I'm your host Bring It Dawn. So Dark Messiah of of Might and Magic was developed by Arcane Studios and is the spiritual successor to Arx Vitalis. Um, Arx Vitalis was developed by Arcane Studios and they were going to make Arx Vitalis 2, but since the original didn't sell well, it got kinked. Uh, I think it was Ubisoft who decided to have Arcane Studios make a sequel, not a sequel, but a game using the same engine they used for Arx Vitalis. And this is the result. Uh, so, a little bit of history with me in this game. It's not very interesting. <laughs> um, but, so I didn't grow up doing PC games, so this game was released in 2006 for PC. And later on it was released for Xbox 360. Um, I didn't grow up playing PC games, so I wasn't introduced to this game until a little bit later. Uh, I used to go to GameStop pretty frequently. and Actually at the time I think it was EB Games. And every time I'd walk in I would see this game sitting on the shelf. Never bought it. Uh, but every time I'd stop I'd look at it, I'd look at the back. Like, I want to play this game, but I was always there for something else, so I kept putting it off. So I didn't actually play this game for the first time until a few years ago. I saw it on Steam, I was like, yeah, I'm buying the crap out of this game. I've been putting this game off for like 10 years. And so, um, yeah, finally picked it up and played it. I love it to pieces. I've beaten it twice. Uh, there's two endings to the game. A good and a bad ending. I've done both. Uh, and I'm going to be doing the good ending in this playthrough as well, because you get the strongest weapon in the game that way. Uh, the bad ending... You get a special power, but it's not very impressive. Uh, this game has a little bit of everything for everybody. It's got stealth, uh, you know, melee weapons, uh, archery or bows and arrows, magic, and it's got a cool physics system. You can throw crates at people, knock them down. Uh, you can kick people off ledges. Uh, you can actually cast like freeze on the ground. An enemy will run by and slip on it and like slide off a cliff. A lot of little interesting things you can do. Uh, there's uh, some crafting in the game as well. Very minor crafting, but crafting nonetheless. And there's a lot of secrets. This game is riddled with secrets you can find in the game. Um, I still don't think I found all of them in two playthroughs. I know I found new ones the second playthrough, but I think there's still some that I've missed. Let's just go ahead and jump in. I want to play it on hardcore. And go through the tutorial area, and we'll finish Master chapter Fenrir. one, and then probably call it in an episode. Where are you? I'm here, Sarah. Now listen, in the room ahead, there's an altar with a spider artifact. Take it. We'll need it to get to the Shantiri Crystal. So the game is pretty linear. My voice will guide you. And have no fear, I'll be watching over you. Uh, but so there is some so exploration, because again, there are secrets and like... 
A lot of secrets you can find, like just tons of secrets. I think it's my favorite thing about the game. I think you play 30 a few times the leather, and still find new things. Then hurry through the far gate. I have already recorded this episode. They look See if you can do it. It looks like you'll have to go up here. Jump on that chain and climb. But I'm re-recording it because the audio was so loud. Like the game was just crazy loud. And I still don't think that the uh, the audio and the options. Physical obstacles will be the easiest you face in this life, sir. Now is your chance to conquer them. The only the audio and the options is it affects the cutscenes. So if the cutscenes are really loud, I apologize. Use the spell I taught you, sir. And the dark will hold no secrets for you. Best spell in the game. Costs no mana. And also, there's no controller support, so I will be using my clicky um, mechanical See keyboard. See if you can open the chest. You never know what you might find. I'm sure some of you appreciate the rope, it. Cut the rope. But some of you will not appreciate it. Think. Adapt. Pick that creature <laughs> back and watch it fall. <laughs> I never get tired of that. Careful. The undead are tenacious. Kicking him and he smashes his face against the sure they don't rise again. I'll do side. my best to heal you. So there's um now is the time to use your combat techniques as I talk. You see that yellow bar beside my health? It's building up right now. Once it's full, you can do a finishing move on basic enemies. I missed. Of course I did. A little rusty at the game, but the rest should wear off as I play, of course. Uh, there's also a uh, skill tree. I don't think you get experience for killing enemies, it's just based on story progression. Alright, now get my adrenaline up. There we go. Hmm. Give me a moment to open this door. It's like there's a combat skill tree, magic skill tree, and uh, miscellaneous. Or miscellaneous. Black guards. Here. Hired swords they are. But I can feel the scheming hand of the necromancers behind them. So they too are after the Shantiri crystal. Hmm. I recommend not putting uh, points into archery. Be efficient, sir. Since there's no good uh Spikes to your advantage. There's really no good archery or uh, bows in the game. The best bow is in. Uh, uh oh. Break the planks. Use the environment to your advantage. I'll do my best to carry. Otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. I might not get him. Did it? Dang it, I missed two. Sorry, you can't die here. Uh, your wizard buddy will keep killing you. But yeah, the best bow in the game is a utility bow. It's got arrows with ropes attached to it so that you can uh don't try to run. I'm not gonna try to run. If he's still moving, drive your soul through. Oh, come on. There we go. Sucker. Use more time to hone your skills if you wish. Don't move, buddy. I'll keep the port colors open. Oh, run away. Show some skill. No, I gotta show me skill. But yeah, it's a it's just a utility rope with uh arrows and I oh, saw utility bow and arrow. Arrows have the boat uh, rope attached to it, you shoot in like wooden stuff above you and climb up it. Are you safe to use everything here because you don't carry it on to the next area? In the main game you do, but this is the tutorial area, so you don't save anything. What now, Master Fenrig? We're done for now. Let us hope that you will be as efficient in future time. This is only the first step on a long road. So I hope the audio's okay. I'm gonna have to leave it as is. Uh, if it's not good, I'll adjust it off camera for the next You'll episode. Have a half a world away. For today was just the beginning. Let us return home, and I'll show you the next step in your education. I also left a uh, head bob on. If that's a problem, just let me know in the comments section and I'll turn it off. I don't care one way or the other if it's on or off. But by default, it's on, so I just left it on. I know some people can't stand it because it makes them sick.
Sareth, my faithful disciple, your father would be proud to see you this day. Initiated into the arts of magic, a fierce and noble warrior, you have all that you need to achieve your destiny. But you won't achieve it here. Your future is out there, in a distant land. I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm to meet a wizard named Menelag. He and I have certain mutual interests. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows. Unfortunately, he's unable to progress any further in his search. At least not without this. The Shantary Crystal that we retrieved. It was worth our pain to retrieve it, don't you think? Take it to Menelag and help him get the skull. Once you do, I think you'll know what's expected of you next. However, my dear boy, I am not sending you alone. You'll need a guide, a companion, perhaps even a guardian. She may even teach you a few other things. What is your bidding, my master? One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Am I to protect this boy? <sighs> Fear not. This won't hurt a bit. Shh. By the way, my name is Zana. All right. Chapter 1, The Gates of Stonehill. We survived the tutorial. We met a very nice lady. There it is, Sarath. The free city of Stonehelm. Crossroads of money and magic. Deliver the crystal to Manalag and we can be on our way. I hope so. It's been pretty dull. Oh, and your character is voiced, by the way. I think he talked in the tutorial. Um, I'm not controlling the uh, movement here. You don't actually get to ride a horse. Necromancers. The game's not that open. About that. Again, very Master linear. Fenric rarely tells everything he knows. Hurry, we'll be safer inside. Well, I wouldn't say linear. It's like you're in little cells and you can find like secrets in that area and then progress. Like there's a, a point A, a point B, and some like points one, two, and three in the middle. Whatever you can take in five minutes, and that's it. Those undead devils aren't here yet. Right, find the gate. Tell Lord Menelag and the council that the city is sealed. I really hope the volume's okay, because it was the game is so loud. I didn't realize how loud it was. So I had my my uh, headset turned down. You there! Stay your business! Of course. I'm the envoy from Master Fenrir, with a message for the wizard Menelag. That's Lord Menelag. Got any proof? He's a little pigeon toed, ain't he? Wary of strangers these days. I have a letter of introduction. Let me see it uh, there. Looks like he fixed himself. Walking around like a uh, Tommy Pickle. By special request of Lord Menelag. And there's a seat. Let me welcome you to Stonehelm. We'll stable your horse for you if it pleases you, sir. Of course. Can you tell me where to find Menelag? Certainly, sir. You go uphill past the Golden Ribbon and Sweet Dragon's Blood. What's that? Hey, don't drop that letter. You, here, ah! My sword was on my on. horse. I don't think you see what happens to your horse. You never see it again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, it's uh. Well, welcome to uh, Might Magic, everybody. Let's go. Is that you probably to hear my uh, keyboard clicking over all the uh, noise in this game? I have the volume at about half, but I'm still pretty self conscious about it because I don't think that's enough. But we'll see. You run. Yeah. 
All right, go close this thing. Um, ghouls will start coming up there, and if they kill this guy, you can't progress. And you don't want that. By all means, I wish he'd stop calling you that. I'm gonna get this only so I get burglar. I don't think I need alertness. It shows you where secrets are, or it's supposed to. I feel like you should be running. Yeah, we're in a bit of a hurry here, guy. Your city's being torn apart. Oh, right. You don't have to shoot these guys, I'm just doing it for fun. Come on, Sarah, keep up your fire. Now or never, Sarah, you have to kill it. You did it. I'd hug you if I could. Call me the Psychoclops Slayer. Call that guy the Cyclops Slayer. You give him a promotion while you're at it. Three skill points. All right, so you want to get telekinesis. Bet y'all clear. They're retreating for now. And level up this. All right, I only have one skill point left. I'm gonna save it. I was thinking about Leanna again, like always, I guess, but she's so pretty and so nice, and her uncle says that she'll be a great wizard, like he is. I think I'm going to ask her to marry me. Not today, though. But maybe this war will give me a chance to be a hero and prove myself to her. Yeah, man. May as well keep your hopes up. So no matter what the food is, because there's a lot of variety of food in the game, um, if it's anything nice edible, there, it just gets piled into food really rations. A recent study of Ashan Fauna gave us an interesting account of the creature's weaknesses. For instance, while most of the basic creatures like spiders are very vulnerable to fire and will avoid it, creatures with a demonic taint like the orcs or the goblins are naturally more resistant to fire. They are, however, as vulnerable to lightning as anyone else. Undead are a different matter. Having no concept of fear or injury, they are difficult to defeat. However, a fortunate adventurer may find blessed weapons, crafted from the very substance of dragons, that do great damage to these creatures. And that is why I'm going the good route, because you get a very, very powerful weapon. Well, I mean, comparatively to the other weapons in the game. So in the past, I've spent a lot of time in this first area of the game, looking for secrets, and I found a few of them, and I, to this day, I don't know if I found all of them yet. Um, but we'll see. I'll go through it, and uh, staves are a weapon type in the game. Staves and daggers both weapon types in the game. I'm going to put the magic at the end here. Probably never going to use a bow and arrow. I think you need to for puzzles, though. Don't quote me on that. Oh, no, stop. I'm already doing it wrong. Alright. Got a shield. Can't use it yet. Some daggers. Oh, you need level 2 in uh, this to use shields. Because right now I can deliver an unlimited number of fast strikes in a flurry, and I have a charge attack when I uh, sprint and power attack. At level 2 I can disarm an enemy uh, by power striking on a stun enemy's arm, and I can use a shield to block enemy attacks like arrows and flame arrows. I doubt it. Ghouls don't swim well. Maybe Lord what do we do with the bodies? The if the necromancers get their hands on them, we might have to open up the necropolis. Alright, so. I don't think there's any secrets down here. There might be. Sorry. Isn't, isn't like what I'm doing. My bad. Alright, so you need to go up there, uh, but I know where a secret or two is at without going up there yet. Also, if you go in here, you can get a bunch of uh, food rations. You can make it past this guy. 
Get out of the way. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, some bread, some food rations. You can go in where she's going, but she'll get mad at you. There's no girl game. I think there's ham in there. Alright, so... If you go back here, there's more food rations you can pick up. Once your stamina regens. I think there's one more I can pick up here, so... Let's make sure I have room for it when I get there. Is there anything down here? Alright, so the first secret's up here. So I came in from this way. If you go here, go in here. Yeah, there's the food ration. Now I'm topped off with food rations. Ugh, I'm getting stuck on the stairs. Come over and activate this uh, lantern. Oh, jeez. Right. And here we are. Some enhanced daggers, essentially, but uh, I'm going to keep the daggers equipped. Because they're not bad. Uh, I can't use them because I don't have high enough stealth, which is fine. So there's two more secrets in this area that I know of. There might be more. Uh, I've never looked up a guide or anything. I probably should. Because you miss out on some good equipment that way. But I already have enhanced daggers. I think... You can go in here as well. There's nothing in here. It's just another path through the city. I am really familiar with this area. I've spent the most time in this area. Mostly because uh, this is my technically fourth time in here. Because I've already... Hmm? You know what they say about the size of a man's front gate? That big one must be Manalag's. I hope he wasn't caught outside the walls. Hey, get down that ladder. There's a secret up here. I don't know if there's another one. There's one up here. Come over here, you open up this window. Come over here, there should be another. Actually, there it is, full health potion. There should be one more in this area. You have to like jump on top of them. Oh crap, I'm dead. Oh no, I didn't die. I'm about to though. Whew. Is it up there? It's so another one, it's like stables or something I think I'd jump on top of, right? And remembering it wrong. By the way, we're gonna talk to her, and uh, there's no achievements for the game, so even if you don't get all the uh, stuff, it doesn't really matter. Some things will never be clean now, never ever be clean. All right, let's go talk to uh, our new friend. Then once I talk to her, I'll probably look for the thing some more. The secret. That's far too quiet. Well, like Excuse me. Oh, you must be the envoy. Here's our guest. Bye, guys. Uh, uh, okay. I'm here to see the wizard Lord Menelag. On behalf of Master Fenric. You must be Sarath. I was getting worried about you, though maybe for no reason. Uncle said you helped kill a Cyclops. No, oh, sorry. I'm Liana, Menelag's niece and pupil. Niece? Pupil? Hmm. I don't get that line. Uncle will be so pleased to see you. 
But you'll want to wash up before dinner. Please, follow me. With pleasure. I mean, yes. Excellent. Alright, so... Let's upgrade that, and I can use the shield that I have We've equipped. Had a prepared in your honor, you know. I thought... Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. I remember now. It, it, I was right. You do have to jump on top of this thing. I just don't know how to do it, because there's a thing... Yeah, here it is. Combat staff. All right. Something like with the uh, the apple. Can I grab it? No. Okay. Regardless, combat staff is better. Plus two damage instead of just plus one. So, get rid of that staff now. There we go. That's I think that's all the secrets that I know of. Those are the ones I've uh, found in this area. There might be more. Who knows? Come along. I'd like to get inside and put the gate down. Welcome to the house of Menelaus. So you're Sabbath. Good to see you, lad. With those necromancers at the walls, watch it. With that, I was getting worried. I trust you brought the Shantiri crystal. Of course you have. I'll take that, my lad, for safekeeping. Tomorrow we sail with it, and careful with that soup there, to the Temple Isle, resting place of the Skull of Shadows. Let Arantir throw his army against the walls. We'll be off sealing his doom. Don't dismiss Arantir too lightly. There are rumors that he might be the Dark Messiah. No oh, stuff and nonsense, girl. All three of us know better than that. But the time is right for the prophecy. I'll worry about dusty old prophecies. You worry about the expedition. You're in charge of it, after all. Of course, Uncle. Good night. And to you too, Sarath. Please don't tell me you find that sort of thing cute. Listen well, boy. I know why you're really here, but Liana doesn't. And we'll keep it that way. Fenric's business doesn't touch her. Understood? What are you talking about? Hmm. Perhaps you don't know. And that's probably for the best. The servants will show you to the guest house. Get some sleep, hero. We sail with the morning tide. All right, chapter two. The gleam of a cold knife. Sir, sir, wake up. The manor is under attack. There are necromancers everywhere. I'm going to see if the master is all right. Hide yourself. It's hard to kill guys with the staff because they don't, uh... Son of a gun. I'll let him come back up here. Because I don't want to trigger anybody else. I think there's more enemies downstairs. He's very resilient, though. Hey, leave him alone. I don't think there's a benefit to saving that guy's life. All right, let's um, get some of these. All right, I think I'm gonna call the episode here. The next one, we'll uh, deal with the rest of these guys. Thanks for watching. I hope to see y'all in the next episode.